What's up, everybody? I'm here with Tasty Steve here at Red Bull Conquest. And if you guys remember, me and Steve did an interview last year where we put a gun. Well, well first of all, <laughs> where Tasty Steve, <laughs> where Tasty Steve correctly guessed most of the Capcom Pro Tour top eight. So to start, before we talk about any other stuff, we're gonna we're gonna let him know that he was right. But it's now his time to tell us his new top eight. So right now? Right now. Oh, wait, okay. So first we have to see who's in there, right? I'm going to... Top 21 is sick. Top 21 is sick. Can I have a reminder? No. No reminder? That's not... Wait, I can't... You can't... <laughs> there's no ground. But I will... Right, get, pull it up from on your phone. So I will say, for sure, top eight, Problem X. Okay. Going to say Tokido. I am also going to say, dang, who else, who else, who else? You got Faith and Daigo? I was actually about, that was the next person that was going to come on my mom. All right, so let's take a look at this, right? So I'm going to say for top eight. Oh, okay. So I'm going to say, mm, Problem X. Okay. Fujimura. Tokido. I want to say Daigo. All right. Who else? Who else? Oh, this is tough. This is actually really hard. Uh, Bon Chan. How many is that? Daigo, Tokido, Fujimoro, Fujimoro, Bon Chan, uh, X, Problem X. That's five. Okay. Five. So I need a cami. Because it's impossible for Cammy not to make it. I want to say, man, it has to be NL, Zhao Hai. Zhao Hai? I think it. Maybe Valorant. Valorant's actually ridiculous. He's still, he's still going strong. I'm going to Nemo. All right. Could he do it last year? You think he can do it this year? Yeah, he, he won the last chance qualifier. Remember, he came. He flew to the last chance qualifier and bodied everybody. Like he was the last man standing. That's why Capcom Cup last year was so sick. Cause everybody's like, "Yo, is Nemo gonna do it?" But either way, so what am I at? I'm at what? I'm at nine. Oh damn. So who we cutting? Cutting Nemo? Wait, who, who did I say? I said Daigo. Tokido, Daigo. Oh, damn. All right, I'm going to take... So you got one more. I'm going to say Punk. Punk? Oh, it's the resurgence? Oh, yeah, this is this is, this is is definitely the the return of Punk. Okay. That's what I think is going to happen. Here you go. Thank you. So so now that we've now that we've established that ahead of time, yes. uh, and hopefully, you know, maybe you're the two-peat champion that gets, that, gets, that gets the trophy. Tell them all about it. Tell them who sent you. But now I want to talk about something that we talked about at Canada Cup. You, along with uh, your boy Sejam, y'all have been traveling a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, yeah. How does it feel to pay California rent and, and never be in your apartment? I feel like a fucking idiot. Wait, is this smart? Can I curse yeah. on her? I feel like a fucking idiot. Oh, can you walk around? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I let her walk. I let her walk. I feel like an idiot, right? Because, like, one... The, the rent in California is ridiculous. So the fact that I'm gone 80% of the month only to come back and pay rent, <laughs> I feel so dumb. However, I still miss sleeping in my own bed. So, I mean, without that being said, I still get to love going to see, like, the community. I still love going to these different places because I've been to some crazy places that I've never been. I never thought I would be in this year. So I'm really happy about that. But other than that... I I still feel like somebody should just, my mom, I'm telling you right now, she curses me out every time. Every time I, she's like, you paying all that damn money and you ain't always sleeping in your own bed. So it's not the worst thing in the world because I like traveling, but damn, does it sting on the wallet, you know? Uh, how do you, so you're a multi-game commentator. Uh, if, if I was to tell you to, you know, set our Kappa ablaze, how, what do you think is the best game to commentate? The best game to commentate right now is Tekken Free. Tekken. Like, Tekken for free. Because, like, everything else, everything else is easy, right? Like, but Tekken is, like, in this spot where it, it has the, 
it has everything going for it. It has the the character pool. It has the talent now, and it has the hype. It has the game. Like everything about it is is really really up right now. Don't get me wrong. I love like Guilty Gear because that's one of the, my most favorite things in the world. Obviously, um, I love Street Fighter just the same. I really like Street Fighter, but I would have to say. Like, me commentating Tekken is some of the most place, especially with some of the people I get to do it with now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's crazy if I would say anything else at this point. Now, I asked you this yesterday off camera, because we know you like music. Oh, yeah. Uh, currently in Tekken 7, best music free is... Mishima Building. You're wrong. It's Infinite Azure, but, you know, you could say that. Yeah, okay, you can... You're entitled to your own opinion and be wrong. And you are. But I've been doing this for too long. You, you really think that... Look, Infinite Azure is good. It's good. But that's a rookie's take on the best song. What? It's a rookie. It's a rookie's take. Everybody loves the drop. They like the cute ass scenery because it's just water. They got the glimmer. Like, it's all there. I don't blame them. I love that song, too. <laughs> However, when it comes to the overall, it's Mishima building. They got robots. It's an elevator crawling up a building. There's lasers. Oh, I said music. Michael Jackson noise. That's music. And then you get to the roof, and then it's, it, it does the breakdown, and it goes faster. How do you not like that as opposed to the drop that evens out? This goes up, and then you actually go up. It's like in a real-life elevator. It's, it's perfect. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting bodied really hard right now. <laughs> but, all right, so speaking of another game you like to commentate, you've uh, been commentating some Dragon Ball, oh, yeah, and, and, and you're an anime fan. I've heard that you're a pretty big weeaboo. It's like, I'm telling you right now, like, I'll open my chest and it just be like, <laughs> ah, like anime, like that, that's me, yes. So, as an anime fan who, who likes Dragon Ball, who is the next Dragon Ball character you want to see next season? Okay, so first off, I want to be clear in saying that, like, when it comes to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball is a dream fighting game of mine. And I say this because, like, I've literally been waiting for this game my entire life. Ever since I knew what competitive fighting games was, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is the game that changed everything because it's like I found out that game existed and I legit cried like I did because I, I never thought that a game like that would exist that like fit every like quality of what I wanted in a fighting game so when it comes to the characters I'm happy with any character they announce however I do have certain characters that I would love to see right so pick two pick two damn it I told you, I'm never okay all right all right all right so bad guy I would say let me get Janemba right I obviously I want Janemba when it comes to, oh man, when it comes to a good guy though, I, I will say this though, right? I, I'm more of a fan of Gogeta than Vegito. So you, so you want the Gogeta? I want Gogeta. All right, so my, my pick, personally, I want one arm Gohan. Future, future Gohan? One arm Gohan? Badass, badass Gohan? I'll give you that one. Okay, damn. That would be kind of buff though, right? All right, I'll right. give you see, that one. That's, see, that's good. That's see, good. and then, uh, Gohan. D. I never even thought about that. Okay. All right, See, all right. I'm telling you guys, I got, I got the knowledge. I got the downloads. Um, I can't think of a villain, though. Because okay. a, a lot of them are whack. Or, like, they're reskins of other characters. I mean, there's a lot of, like, if you go to, like... Like, I know, out, like, Goichi was, like, yo, Turles, because he just wants as many Gokus in the game as possible. Jesus, man. Come on. Don't, <laughs> don't give the trolls what they want. So, you know, you know... Every you know what I actually kind of want? No lie, and you're gonna you're gonna think I'm trolling you. I want Garlic Jr. You know, I I kind of thought you was a Garlic Jr. person, right? I was I was. Look, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I just want an interesting character. Okay. Like I, okay. I I I like want, cause like we already got Smalls, but I want I want like Rocket Raccoon Small. See, you're one of those you're one of those people that like the annoying characters for no reason. He's like, yeah, I just want a bird that can just shit on you and just make you mad the whole time. I'm like, why is that even needed? But it's cool, you know? What I mean, the only Marvel Infinite I want to do is Zero. So if that tells you anything, okay. I played Zero May Cry. Okay, you want the cheap stuff. It makes sense now. I 100% get it now. You're more than entitled to your idea of a character that you want. I'm not disputing that at all. But just think about it. You could open the dead zone and lock a, char and lock a character away. I'm more interested in having his American voice be played. I want the, the English voice. of uh, That's what I want. Garlic Jr. English voice in the game. Come on, dead, like Dead Zone as like, as like, uh, as like a three bar? Actually, you're right. He can like summon other people from the Dead Zone. That'd be, that would actually be sick. You could bring in like Turles or something like that. Okay, this makes sense. You could summon all the movie villains. But, oh, okay. See, he thought I was low tier. I have the high tier play right now. That's actually pretty buff. Now that you say that, that's pretty buff. It's a good way to like... 
integrate all the characters because you can do some crazy stuff. You can put more movie people in there. You get a new state. Okay, you know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty. That's pretty expansive. Now that you say that. All right. All right. Now, as your last question, because you know I like making you do do tier stuff. You've been around the world. You've been to a bunch of cities. Yeah. Best city you've been in this year for a fighting game event. I would have to be there for a fighting game event? Like, yeah. the city? Oh, snaps. I really... So not necessarily the event itself, but, like, best physical city you've been in this year for fighting games. I think it would have to be, but I haven't been to Amsterdam yet. This, is, this isn't fair. I'm going to say tentative Amsterdam, but I'm going to go with London. Because I went to East London, and, like, I was in love. Like, I legit will live in East London. If I live anywhere else as of right now, it's probably going to be East London, free. So, so you joining the F-word Logan crew? Look, I hung out with those guys while I was there. Not F word, but Logan was there. Man, that place is sick. We went to like Capcom. We played. I did like the. Winter stays on. I, yeah, I did like the the winter stays on, and then like afterwards we went and ate like food all night. We hung out. Like it was sick. Like I don't think I've been to another event that actually did that. Although every other place was sick. Like Columbia was godlike because we had a house session after it. Um, Chile was godlike because we had a house session after. It. Like all those things are really really dope. But when it comes to a place where I actually want to live that fits like the Steve criteria that I can say, oh, Tasty Steve lives there. Damn, it sounds weird. It would be definitely East London. East London free. All right. Is, uh, is there anybody you want to shout out before, before we, uh, we turn off the camera? Shout out to everybody who supports me, anybody who supports fighting games, anybody who supports my friend, anybody who supports any media that goes towards FGC, and everybody that goes to and supports your locals. I want to shout you guys out. Keep supporting fighting games. Thank you for supporting me, and thank you for supporting my friends. I appreciate it. All right, and that's been Tasty Steve and Amanda Stevens for Jinx.TV.